Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Monday, October the 6th. As the New York Jets went out to San Diego yesterday trying to reverse what was a three-game losing streak, and now it's a four-game losing streak. Rex Ryan, the first four-game losing streak in his career as a New York Jets head coach, and yesterday was just a disaster in every way possible from Geno Smith, his play, to having to go to Michael Vick, to getting shut out in San Diego. And then we hear this morning that Geno Smith missed a meeting on Saturday. And as you watch this Jets season spiral out of control, it will be a Monday of reaction. It will be a Monday of a little bit of overreaction. But it will mostly be a week here where people get on two people. That will be Rex Ryan, the head coach, and Geno Smith, the quarterback. And you can get on both of them. Geno Smith cannot miss a meeting. And Rex Ryan has to have his team better prepared for the San Diego Chargers. But the one guy that should not get off without criticism, is general manager John Idzik. When he came in here, he was supposed to clean up this roster. He was supposed to give Rex Ryan a true franchise quarterback, which obviously Mark Sanchez wasn't, despite back-to-back -back AFC title games in the first couple years that Sanchez and Ryan were together. He was supposed to do that. He was supposed to install competition, clean up the cap, and give the Jets a chance here to go out and compete for postseason berths. And as you watch the AFC East look very mediocre, you realize the Jets aren't even in that realm. You realize the Jets aren't even mediocre enough to compete in the AFC East. You could blame Rex Ryan for the fact that he's too much of a defensive coordinator on a head coach. You could blame Geno Smith for not being prepared and not being the player the Jets need him to be. That's fine. But how about blaming John Itzik here for putting together a roster that is not good enough and going out and spending a second round pick on a quarterback that is nowhere near close to ready, and maybe he will never be ready to be a franchise quarterback. The New York Jets are a mess right now, and to me, it starts at the top. It starts with general manager John Itzik. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now.